Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will be a pretty much a basic overview of classes um, with Python in the Blender game engine. Um, and I'll just get started. So to start off, let's go from defaults to game logic and go from Blender render to Blender game. And on this cube in the middle, let's drag this down and add an always sensor. And don't click anything down here, just keep the free, just leave everything blank for now. And then add a Python controller and connect it. Once we have that, what we're going to do is hit text and create an empty text block like this. And there's only going to be one thing we're going to do for now, which is import the BGE. Okay, to actually create a class, what you need to do is type class, and then you're going to create and we're, um, a class by typing in a name. So for this video, I'm going to do a person class like this. Underneath this, what you need to do is define a couple of functions for the class. And the first one you need to do is define init, then self, and then we're going to add a couple of things, name and age. Now this may seem confusing, but essentially what this, um, what this stuff means right here is that when we create an object of the person class, it's going to need a couple of things, the name and the age, and the self simply refers to the object that you're creating, like this, or to the object that's, being a that's accessing the script. So to actually make some, to actually define our, um, our name and our age, we're going to do self.name is going to equal name, and then self.age is going to equal age. And we could now put a print um, value like here. So we can put, um, we can actually just print, let's say, self.name, um, a comma, and I'll actually put a, another symbol like this. So it's going to put self.name, comma, then after this, we're going to put self.age. So what should happen is that if we add this script right here, this text, um, if we put the script that we created, our text script, into our Python controller, and we now are going to actually create an object really quick. And this object we're just going to call object1 is going to equal a person. And we need to give it a name and an age. So I'll just put Gavin. And since I'm 17, I'll put 17. Now that we have this, I'll do window and then toggle system console. Drag this out. And if I hit P now, we can see it's going to put Gavin comma 17. Because after we, since this is now, since object one is now a created object, that is Gavin and it is 17, it printed this to the console upon initialization of the object. We can actually do a few other things now, which is we can actually define more functions within a class. And this next function that we're going to define is define return name like this and put self inside here. What this is essentially saying is that if object one were to call the function return name that's in the class person, um, it's just going to print the name like this. So we're going to put print self.name. So what should happen now is if I do object one dot return name, what it's going to do is it's going to return the name of object one. So if I hit P now, you can see it's going to do Gavin 17 and then Gavin. Let's say that we want to make our person get older though. We can now define a new function and this will be define and then add age. And this will be self as well because we want it to be um, unique just to the object that's accessing the script. And then what we're going to now do is have self.age is going to plus equal one. And we're going to print, um, let's say um, object age and then self.age self like this. I'll actually put a colon in between here and put a space. So what should now happen is if we take out the return name, we're going to do object one dot add age like this. I'll drag this out. If I hit P now, you can see well, upon initialization, the object one object had the name Gavin and the age is 17. But then we added the age to it, and so it went up by one, and now the age of object one is 18. Okay, you can also do a couple of other things as well, which is, um, let's actually, well, let's actually, well, let me actually show you something that makes this a little bit more in depth. So let's actually create an object two. An object two is going to be an object of the person class, and let's say the name of this object is Jason, and it'll be 19. 19 like this. What we can now do is see if we hit P, It'll initialize both these objects, Gavin and Jason, 17 and 19. But let's say we're just going to have 
um when we let's actually change this add age function to do um let's put self dot name comma and I'll actually take this part out here put put comma and inside of this parentheses let's have is um now eighteen so what should happen? is we're now going to call both the add age functions for each object. Let's do object one dot add age and object two dot add age like this. So we should be able to see that if we hit P, it's going to initialize Gavin and Jason those objects and Gavin started out as 17 and the Jason object started out as 19. But when we called that function the add age, it added the age to by one. So we can now see that Gavin turned 18 and Jason turned 20. And there's a bunch of other stuff we can do, like, um, you know, this is how a lot of classes work, but we can do define return name, put self since we want this to be for the object in question, and we can do, like, you know, prince self.name. So what should happen is if we call, you know, calls return name function, we're going to have object one dot return name like this. And we can see that if I hit P, after all of this, it's where it's going to do the add age functions. It's going to print Gavin right here. And we can make this be um a little bit more unique. I'm going to put name right here. Then self.name. So we can see it's going to have name colon Gavin, just like our function right here. Okay, that's pretty much a basic overview of what a class is. It's unique for like, you know, creating objects within the Blender game engine. And I will be using these in a few tutorials in the future. But yeah, this is kind of how it works. It's pretty much, you know, in, um, creating attributes for an object, I could say. And, you know, I really don't really know how to better describe it. But all right, guys, I hope you guys found this useful.